All right, so while I did a battery replacement on the GoPro, I added a second fly about a foot behind the bend of the, uh, the top one. It's the same type of fly, same style, just a different color rather than kind of green with a flashy orange belly. It's tan with a pink underbelly and a pink hot spot. Just add a little extra weight and uh, give them something else to think about. It's a little deeper up here, it looks like. Bad wind now, though. This TB40 has cast so well, has plenty of backbone. I've got the two, two small bead heads on there. Just a flick of the wrist and it zips it out there even into the wind. All right, fish. Any minute now would be nice. There he is. Right on cue, right after I chastised them. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We'll get up there and stink up that good part of the hole. I'm not sure which one he took or what it is. Yeah, little brown, looks like. Yeah, took the bottom fly, then the one I just put on. No, Oni, no, 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 no. Good boy. Yeah, you're such a good helper, aren't you? That's a pretty little fish. No, Oni. <laughs> He's going down looking for it. Come here! Oni! You know, he's gonna swim around a little bit. Come here, buddy! Come! Good boy! Hey, come! Good thing I already fished that part. Come on. Come on up here. Come on, Oni. Good boy. You stay. Looks good on each side of this seam through here. Actually, it looks good right in the middle on the bottom, too. Ah. Uh. Oh, I saw a fish. Oh, I saw it swipe at it. That's a nice rainbow. No, no, it's not. It's a white fish. I saw the flash and the delayed response of the line. It's a good sized fish, but it's not a rainbow. Oni, no, stay. Stay. That's a nice, nice size white fish. That was also on that bottom fly that I added. Could be color, could be the fact that it's on the bottom. There's one. Oh! Jeez, I saw him. I was anchoring the line on the water, saw the flash, and saw the line. And then I saw the fish after I set the hook. That was a rainbow. There's one. Oh, yeah. That's a nice rainbow. Oh, yeah. Get my arm out of the way. Get downstream a little bit. Get it away from that spot I haven't fished yet. Oops, net's caught. Oh yeah, that's a really nice rainbow.
That one took the upper fly that time. There we go. It's a fatty. Oops, let me get my quiver out of the way. I had to re re rig after having a knot up from that last fish. Oop, that was the bottom, I think. But that's uh, an expected uh, consequence that you have to deal with fishing two flies. There's enough water column here where I thought it might be helpful. Oh, saw that. <laughs> Another rainbow. Little guy. Definitely on that softer water on the far side, especially. Look at the little fella. Oh, fly came out. Cute little fella. No, only no. Ooh, there's a nice one. Oh, that's a brown. Oh, get him away from that, that log over there. He was going for it. Oh, he came off. Oh, 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 that was a nice one. That might have been the fish of the day. Ah, oh, darn it. It was right up here in the shallow head of the pool. I was trying to horse him, get him away from that log. Pulled the hook. There's another one. That one's a rainbow. Oh, he's also going for that log. <laughs> Come on. Okay, get him down here. A little slower water. He's on the bottom fly. Oh, he's foul hooked. That's why he was... Might have been going, that's another consequence of a two fly rig. Sometimes when they miss that upper fly, you set the hook, you can catch them on the bottom one. With it. Not on purpose, just on the fin. No harm, no foul. Pretty fish though. I'm gonna try the other side right from here. Definitely found a good hole. Plenty of fish in here. Yep, a couple more casts up here. Still have to try that far side where it's slow. Just have to dodge the branches up above. There's one, and that white fish. Good sized white fish in here today. Also took that smaller bottom fly. Big white fish. No, Oni. You. Let me see if I can get that other side real quick before I try the next spot.
Oh, there's one. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh, it's foul hook the kid. No, maybe not. It's just a big rainbow. Yeah, he's fair hooked. It's a nice rainbow though. Decent. No, only no. See if I can keep this quiver on my back. Took the upper fly that time. Oh yeah, that's a pretty fish. Real pretty. I think I'm gonna have a bird's nest. Oh, that's a really pretty fish. There's another one. Oh, that's a brown. Feisty little bugger. Oh, he's clumsy. All right, that's a cute little guy. Well, if I keep catching them, I'm not gonna be able to get to the next spot. Here we go. All right, couple more, and then we're moving. And I mean it this time. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure what that was. Right before the log. There's, oh, it's a snag. Oh, and I'm gonna lose my two flies. I'm not gonna get across it. Oh, it's a fish. It is a fish. I think a fish hit it while it was snagged. It pulled it out of the snag. It's a brown. Holy cow. That was a weird. While it was snagged, I felt the hit. And then it came off. Oh, that's a nice brown. That might be a real nice one. Took that bottom fly. Well, it's a nice little guy, I guess. Not a big one. But it's better than a snag and losing flies. Oh yeah, that's actually a fairly long fish. Here we go. That's a nice fish there. No, honey. That was weird. I don't know what came first, the fish or the snag. Pretty sure it was the snag, it was stuck and I was getting ready to tighten the, collapse the rod and break it off. Well, that was a pretty good uh, morning so far with the TB40. Now I'm gonna switch to the Nissan Onianru 395. This will probably be a separate video, but uh, yeah, another great rod and the weather is beautiful, just can't leave quite yet.